So now you're getting the hang of developing your ideas into really great videos, but you really want to focus on growing your channel. The problem is, what do people want to know about? We'll sit back and find out because we're starting right now. Hey everyone, what is up? This is Tim of The People's Bookkeeper where we always hit the mark. Make your mark in business too and share it on YouTube. Do that by subscribing now and turning on the bell notification. So now you've determined your niche, you've established yourself with a couple dozen videos, and you're starting to feel a lot more comfortable with your processes. But now you're wondering where to turn next. Well, it's time to turn your attention to popular topics within your niche so that you can start to attract more views. But you need to make sure that you stay within your niche because you don't want to attract new subscribers based on a topic you do when you switch back to another topic and they're going to leave you because they didn't sign on for that. And sometimes it's not easy to figure out what's currently trending or where to get those ideas that might get you those views and subscribers. So I'm going to share with you some of the great resources that I use to help me find topics that people want to know about. So number one on the list is actually YouTube's trending page. The trending page itself has the top videos from the previous day. And it's an ongoing process, so that means that every day there are new videos popping up on the trending page. And remember that you can get some awesome ideas from these videos, but you need to remember to A, keep it relevant to your niche. Imagine if I made a video on Logan Paul. Don't worry, that's not happening. It just wouldn't make any sense for my channel. And B, don't copy another person's video. Draw inspiration from it and make it your own. Next on the list, we have Google Trends. And Google Trends is awesome because this will tell you what people are really searching for in real time. It gives you the hottest topics and trends and how many searches have been done within the previous one to seven days. You can see those trends right on the homepage or you can search for your own and find out how many people are searching for a topic that you're interested in. You can also break down the popularity of a topic idea by the country. It's really cool to be able to see what a region is specifically interested at that time. This means that you can really narrow down topic ideas that people in your country and region actually want to see. And that's much better than making topics that they aren't really interested in. Next on the list is the awesome news app right on your iPhone. I use this almost every single day and the great thing is that you can really find topics that are relevant to your niche. And you can do that by following specific news types and categories. I use this almost every single day for the latest hot topics and trends on YouTube and on content creators and on issues surrounding YouTube. It helps me to come up with those ideas that my audience would be interested in seeing because it's something relevant to YouTube. It's a great resource for you to be able to figure out topics and trends that are actually going to help you grow your channel. Now Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or pretty much any other social media platform is the next one on the list. Any of these platforms have very popular and trending topics that are happening day to day. You can search for pages or big names within your niche, and you can follow them on these platforms and listen to the things that they're talking about. Sometimes they even have a catchphrase or a saying that they use that becomes a new trend. And if you get in early enough, you can make a video on that catchphrase that could help your video get seen by a lot more people. Remember that there's tons of people that interact with these pages too, and they're constantly sharing their own ideas. This gives you a great pool of people to draw inspiration from and get ideas from and make them your own. Now one thing I've been really noticing a lot on YouTube lately is videos that sit dormant for months on end. But then months later, all of a sudden they just take off. Now if you watched the last video, which I'll link up here, I talked all about the YouTube algorithm and the control that it has. And I've actually come to the conclusion that the algorithm pretty much just does what it wants to. But the reason that I'm mentioning this is because I want you to know that even if you have a video that's been sitting dormant for months, that doesn't mean that it can't possibly go viral down the road. And just because a topic or trend isn't being searched a lot right now, that doesn't mean that it won't be searched a lot down the line as well. I also talked a lot about that in a previous video, which I'll link up here, about tentpole programming. And if you haven't checked that out yet, I'd highly recommend that you go watch that video too. 
It has great tips and information on creating videos ahead of events and ahead of trends so that when the trend does hit, you can get lots of views and new subscribers. Remember that just because it's not trendy now doesn't mean that it won't be. And you could have a video that all of a sudden goes viral or gains tons of views and new subscribers all because you got in at the right time. Now these are just some of my main sources that I use, but I'd love to know what sources you use as well. So please make sure that you comment and leave feedback below on where you get your great topic ideas from. Now if you want to make your mark on YouTube, then check out these videos over here. They'll help you grow your channel. And if you're new to this channel, then please consider subscribing. Click my face and you'll do just that. I'll see you in the next video.